life and work are blending at a rate that they can't even imagine. Um, so whereas it, it's really convenient to think about work is work and life is life, I, I don't think that that's realistic anymore. Um, and, and I think that companies have to get ahead of what we see playing out in society and really um, decide on what end of the coin they're going to be and how they want to address that. And they need to address that in a really real way. They need to address it broadly, but they also need to address it with more focused groups in terms of diverse talent to understand how those groups may be feeling about the rhetoric um you know it, you you have a company who has dreamers working for them you, right. you need to be talking about that whether it's uncomfortable or not this is not the time for um the canned training and development you know we have a diversity problem people are angry about not feeling heard right. and so let's roll out a respectful workplace training it's not going to work anymore this is the time for focus i probably never did and it probably, realistically, it never did if they actually asked the people that were on the receiving end of that. But especially now, people want real dialogue, mm -hmm. and they want real change. And the companies that are able to humble themselves and do that, I think, are going to be way ahead of the eight ball. Mm -hmm. It makes me think that um, the, the desire to be apolitical, for a corporation to be apolitical, has really is a thing of the past. And I see more and more CEOs becoming activists, essentially, from their position with yep. a power. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that speaks to the point earlier as well about the values-based positioning of organizations. If you actually really mean it and you, you, you live up to it, then you've got to speak out, haven't you, on things? And if, right. if that's, uh, it's, it, does, it, it flies in the face of those values from either a recruitment or a retention perspective. If, if you position yourself as being strong on on diversity or strong on um, uh, the um, the sort of um, uh, things around millennials or, or whatever it might be, if your if your values are rooted in those things, and then a societal issue crops up in that area, and you just say, "Well, I can't comment on that because I'm a business," right? Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't suit me to comment on that because my share price might go down or something. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I think, as you say, I think that that position becomes less and less tenable, and I think we 